Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, this is another, uh, of course, you saw the title, so you know it's another bit of video. Um, periodically, I'm sure I will, have, I will be coming back to create videos to answer questions and things because even though I have a lot of videos up about bed bugs, it's, I don't think, it, it, I mean, I'm probably never going to stop talking about it um, because there always is going to be questions. There's always going to be somebody new who's experiencing, who's experiencing them and it's just an issue that's just going to be around until the end of time. I mean, it's a really big issue and it's just all over the world. It's all over the place. So I came to speak on, um, and I wrote some things down because I was thinking about this last night because I still get a ton of questions. And I just went to bed thinking about it last night and I kind of realized that I actually never created a, a, a video about this particular thing. So I was just thinking of some things that I could um, share with you guys on um, ways to know if you may have bed bugs because it's a lot of people who are getting bit by certain things and they don't know if they're bed bugs or not. They're not seeing bed bugs, but they know they're getting bit and you know, different things. And I'm just getting asked so many questions. So I figure every time things like this take place, the best way for me to answer it is to put it in video form. So not only that one person can get it, um, can get the answer, but a ton of people. And I just have to answer that one time. Okay, so ways that, um, Ways to know if you may have bed bugs. So um, you can check the seams of your pillowcases. Like when you open the pillowcases, the stitching part where you see the stitching, look along inside that whole pillowcase because they hide in places where you would never think of. You know, you just won't think to look. Who would think to open up their pillowcase and look inside the pillowcase? We always look on the outside of things when they have mostly on the inside of things. So the, um, the seams along the inside of your pillowcase, the stitching, um, the seams on blankets, comforters, and covers, um, the side that you mostly have downward on your bed, look, flip that side up and look at that side too. Look in all the stitchings of everything, whatever you have on your bed, like your comforters, your covers, your sheets, all that kind of stuff. Even the pillows that your little decorative pillows that you may just put on your bed to make your bed look pretty. Those two. Um, okay, look for the drippings. Like in where where they nesting, where they're nesting, you're going to see evidence. You're going to see like these black spots. You're going to see blood spots. You're going to see brown spots. And it's just little dots. Um, Sometimes you can look at it like you know how you have, I mean, you may have roaches and the roaches leave those little black things and that's how you know something is there. They leave the little spots of once they suck your blood and they go back to the nest, they leave blood spots and the blood spots in turn, if you don't, when you see them and they're not red, um, they get brown. And then like I said, the black uh, spots. So that's another, that's a good way to know that, um, but all of them are good ways to know, but that's another way to know. Excuse me, guys. I'm suffering from a stiff neck that's been around for like a week. It is tearing me up. Okay. Um, yeah, check your entire bed, including your bed skirt. So if you have a bed skirt on your bed, check your bed skirts too. Um, check the outside, flip them over, check the seams. Um, check along the seams of everything, including the tags on the corner of your fitted sheets. You know how you have a little tag, that little teeny tag on the corner of your fitted sheet. Um, it's just a little tag, you know how it looks. Um, it, it's just in the one corner of your sheet. But that little tag has like a little opening like in the middle of it. And believe it or not, they go right up in that tag and that's where they hide. You know why? Nobody thinks to look there. Uh, and that's what they, that's that's what they do. They it's out of sight. <laughs> they they trying to be out of sight. They only come out when they're ready to feed. Okay. Um, check. Uh, okay, the mattress also. All around the same. So your mattress. 
Um, you see stitching on it to the little parts that stick up all the way around the frames of your mattress and your box springs. Look up in there pretty good. You can get a flashlight if you need to, an LED light. That's another place. That's one of your main places too. All these areas I'm talking about are main areas. So um, check all the way around the seams of your mattress and the box spring. Furniture. Furniture that's close to your bed or close to wherever you may be a lot. Like if you're sitting in your living room a lot and you, you, you want to check your coffee table, you want to check the entire coffee table. You want to flip that coffee table upside down. Again, they not, they're not looking to hide where you can just look right there and you see them. They're looking to hide where you can look and you don't see them. Electrical outlets. Um, I know a lot of people are afraid to go in and put diatomaceous earth inside of the electrical outlets. You're not putting it in the outlet like where you put your prongs to whatever you may be using. You're not putting it in there. Once you open it up, you see that space up in there. You see like little wires and things like that. You can just squirt a couple of poofs of powder up in the wire, up in that part. Because then you ain't got to uh, make it look like Christmas, like it's snow. You just put a little bit, a little couple, about two little poofs, and that's that. But I know a lot of people are afraid to do that. I have one viewer that was just, just saying that she was afraid to put it inside the outlet, so she'll just put it on the outside. So I told her, okay, I understand. He's like, whatever works for you. Um, I would like I say, I just anything close to your bed. So like your furniture. Um, they even go in all the electronics, guys. Um, I'm not gonna say that they'll go that they're inside of your cell phone, but if it's a way that they can get up in there, they will. They will go in there too, because they're trying to be as close to you. Like you take, we take our cell phones out to work everywhere we go. So if they can fit up in that cell phone, they'll go up in there, and then that's that's another way they're being transferred too from one place to another, because they they'll go up in your cell phone just like they'll go in your purse, they'll go in your luggage, they'll go in anything. So they, they will go into electronics, your computer, anywhere where you are, and it's somewhere for them to hide. So when you're there and they can get close to you and they can feed, they're going to do it. They're going to go there. Um, so just think about it. Anywhere you spend a lot of time, you want to check those areas. And everybody... Everybody should be doing these inspections, guys, whether you have bed bugs or not. This is just something that everybody should be doing. Why? Because these bugs, these bugs spread like wildfire. You can have them one minute. You can not have them one minute and then have it the next. Don't know what's happening, what's going on, what, what, what are you getting bit by, but you know something is driving you nuts. So the best way is just to, be pro, to do a preventive measure. I know everybody is not going to do it. Um, I know everybody's not going to do it. I know a lot of people who have never came in contact with bed bugs can care less, but I have to say it because that it's true and it needs to be said. So those of you that have family members that come and visit you regularly, or you might go to their house regularly, regularly, I don't know if you told them or not that you have bed bugs or that you had them, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's nothing to be ashamed of. but the best thing to do is let them know so they won't get them. Let them know so they can treat. Um, even if they don't have traces of them or you, you might know somebody or not you, but somebody you may know. I would mention it. You know, I talk to people about bed bugs all the time. You know, people who have never heard of them or anything and they look at me like a bed bug. What's a bed bug? I ain't never heard of a bed bug. I said, well, you better hope you never do. You know, and I just say, well, you might want to start treating your home. And I let them know the other benefits. Like, it's not just for bed bugs. Some people have real bad um, roach problems. Where I've been to people's house, and I wish I would have known about diatomaceous earth years ago. Um, one thing I can say, I've always kept things out of my home. If I had mice, if I had roaches, I always found a way to get them out and keep them out. And they may be at every, almost everybody else's place in the building or wherever, but they went in my place. I always found a way to do it. But I wish I would have known about diatomaceous earth years ago because I could have, my whole, my whole neighborhood, my whole street where everybody lived, I probably would have made a ton 
of money going to people's house and putting this stuff down to uh, kill all of these roaches and these other bugs. Because, bed bu I mean, like I said, doctor make sure just don't only kill bed bugs. They kill roaches, they kill spiders, they kill centipedes, they kill copper beetles. Um, they kill dust mites, they, they kill fleas, they kill termites, they kill all kinds of bugs. So you don't have to have bed bugs to treat your place. But one thing, if you do ever get them, you probably won't never know you had them because if the doctor makes yourself down, you don't have to worry about the, getting the bites and you don't have to worry about ever seeing them. But okay, guys, I wanted to come back and say that because I'm getting that question about people wanting to know if they have bed bugs or not. So those are ways to know. Those are things that you can do um, to check and see. So um, I'll see you guys on the next video.